Hey guys, Red here, welcome to another video and today I'm on the test server once again to show you guys new additions that are coming to Macarena very very soon. Well, without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Coming next to the arena we have a new mech and two new weapons, which were both teased on the uh, last devlog, along with two other new mechs and a new weapon, but we're gonna talk about these in another video. Well, starting with the new mech, we have a new legendary scout for tier 9, which is called Mimicker. And Mimicker's ability is called Adaptation, and this is basically how it's going to work. Well, Mimicker can lock on on enemy mechs, and once it triggers the ability button, Mimicker will get a specific bonus based on the enemy mech's role, which being the mech's class. Well, uh, Mimicker can get uh, 4 different bonus from 4 different classes, which are attacker. If Mimicker scans an attacker, it'll get a temporary damage boost. If Mimicker scans a scout mech, it'll get additional speed boost and some stealth. If Mimicker scans a tank mech, it'll get a personal energy shield, just like Juggernaut. And at last, if Mimicker scans a support mech, it'll get some passive healing. Well, now talking a little bit about its stats. Uh, Mimicker is a heavy mech, so you can expect some heavy firepower since it has 32 energy capacity at max and it got some decent base speed and HP, not very a tough uh, robot, which is uh, reasonable since it has a very flexible ability and a high firepower and that's pretty much it. I think Mimicker is going to be a fun mech to play with, it got some potential and flexibility since it can be a little bit of anything. Well, now let's take a look at the new weapon. The new weapon is called Howler, and it's a legendary close quarters weapon. Well, the Howler fires single shots of some kind of sonic boon waves, uh, and, it, and it sure packs a lot of damage. But I can say the weapon will have some issues facing uh, ML mod shields, because it has like single the single fa fire mechanic fragment gun has. So it will uh, uh, take a few shots to take down uh, these new mods. And another issue is, is that the weapon has a very low magazine. Uh, it can only fire four times before it has to reload. It has a somewhat a quick reload time, but I think it can get you in trouble if you don't pay attention to the enemy mods. Well, I didn't notice any uh, new perk on the weapon. It just seems that it deals uh, raw damage. It doesn't seem to have any kind of uh, new effect or a, a debuff that can be applied to the enemy. It's, it's just raw damage, but it does deal a lot of damage. Uh, it also has a very high projectile speed, so you won't be missing a, a ton of shots. I'll pr I probably miss a few shots in the gameplay I'll be showing uh, later, but that's probably because of my skill issue. It also has a very good range, and that's pretty much how the hauler works. The weapon doesn't have like anything special or complex to be explained, it's just like a sound cannon that deals a lot of damage in single shots and doesn't have any uh, side effects or anything that can compensate the uh, lack of ammo. And that's pretty much it for the new items that are coming soon. So now I'm gonna leave you guys with some gameplay for both items. Firstly, I'm gonna show you some gameplay footage of the new Mac without any mods, just because I want to show you the, the Mac's performance without the influence of mods. Well, of course, the enemy Macs will be using mods because I can toggle that off. And then I'll show you some gameplay with the Howlers on Mimicker while using the mods. Uh, well, that's pretty much it. I'll hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into the gameplay. <laughs> Three, two, one, go.
three, two, one, go. Get out of my way. <laughs> 